Have you seen this movie Rumor Has It? I was watching it the other day like I watch any movie that has Mark Ruffalo in it. It's a sappy love story, just the kind I like. And well, I don't want to reveal the ending, but there is this thing that Sarah says in this film. I have not come to tell you that I cannot live without you. I can live without you. I just don't want to. And that, my friends, is what I'm going to talk about. That was the gist of my book, I Complete Me. How to have an empowering romance in your life. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. How often have we heard it? From Jerry Maguire to every starry-eyed love newbie who declares passionately, you complete me. I want to say, uh-uh, no, no, hold it right there. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for helping people see that a breakup, divorce or simply being single is not the end of the world. I know sometimes it feels like it. But in reality, I know that most women and quite a few men really do dream of a you complete me type of love. We are all waiting for that perfect person that will snugly fit into our gaps. I'm all for romance, but let's just get the facts right. Most of us are looking for someone else to validate us. And if your completeness is going to come from an external source, guess what? It's got a name in psychology, codependency. Codependency happens when too much of your sense of validation or security comes from another person. If you obsess over whether another person likes you or returns your messages or whatever, it's a symptom of codependency, though a mild one. Stalking is a scarier version of the same tendency. If you're constantly watching out for last seen on social media and wondering why that person doesn't text you, why they don't call you, who they are seeing, what they are posting, well, most people get into relationships because they are so scared to be alone and have never learned to love themselves. We have been conditioned to think of this as the perfect life plan, schooling, relationships, work, marriage. If you dare not follow the plan, you are one big failure. I have found that the reverse is true too. When we feel whole and complete, we are better able to love other people and that's how connections are born. Get this, you can only be loved to the extent that you love yourself. When we don't love and accept ourselves fully, we can't ever have that great relationship or a happy life. Because self-love is not a woo-woo new age concept. Here's what loving yourself will mean. You teach people how to treat you and that is the truth. When you treat yourself without respect or love, you give others permission to do the same. If you don't love yourself first, you're not going to have any standards about how others should treat you. You have to be willing and stand up for yourself and say, I'm better than this. I'm not going to tolerate this happening to me. When you have that unconditional self-love, it's a lot easier to recognize when people are giving you less than what you deserve. You'll notice that as you grow in your self-love journey, you'll cut ties with certain people because you realize that they don't make you feel good. They don't uplift you. They don't help you grow. Of course, it'll be hard and it can even hurt. But as your self-love increases, your tolerance for negativity and disrespect, that decreases. And these toxic relationships, they just won't be worth your time and energy anymore. Letting go of these relationships, they create a space for the real ones to come in. It's not someone else's job to make you feel loved. That is your job. It is your job to fill yourself with self-love, not selfishness, self-love and self-acceptance so that your self-worth is not dependent on someone else's opinion of you. A person confident in themselves and without neediness is highly attractive. It's a new sexy. Start with accepting yourself as the imperfect person that you are. We are all work in progress. That doesn't make us less lovable. And when you accept yourself completely, warts and all, you will find people who accept you the same way. You won't need to prove anything to anyone because you know that only your opinion matters. Love yourself first 
so that if a relationship doesn't work out how you planned, you're not left there questioning your own self-worth or if you're worthy of being loved by someone else. The answer is that you are. You can fully accept and enjoy being loved by someone else. You aren't doubtful of their feelings. You never worry if their love will end or if you aren't good enough or unworthy. You aren't afraid of getting hurt. You don't push love away or run away or create reasons why your relationship will let you down. When you're whole and complete, you will attract a partner who is whole and complete themselves and that's a beautiful space to be in. To start your journey on self-love, here's a nifty little tool from my toolbox. Look in the mirror, look into your eyes and say, I love you to yourself. For most people, the idea of telling themselves I love you as they look in the mirror is a tricky exercise. It feels awkward or silly. It's just not an easy thing to do. It may even be downright embarrassing. Just keep at it. For many of us, this is the first time in years that we've even looked into our eyes. Of course, we do our makeup and our hair, but often looking at ourselves only critically. Hmm, my eyebrows need to be plucked. Or, God, look at these dark circles. I know, been there, done that, burned that t-shirt. Now I can look myself unabashedly in the eye, blow a kiss and say, I'm awesome. You can reach there too. Think of a relationship as a partnership. Two whole people coming together to support, uplift and empower each other. Not two halves coming together to form one whole person. So, as cute as it may sound to tell someone that they complete you, that really shouldn't be the case. Make yourself whole on your own first. I know now that it would be really neat for me to say that, now possessed of this understanding and self-love, you will find your happily ever after. That may actually be far from the case. But what I can say that is yes, self-love can make it easier to bounce back from a fall. When you stop hustling for love, you're allowing yourself to be loved. Far from being self-indulgent, it's such a humbling feeling and it will set you free. I have put a link for my book, I Complete Me, in the description box below. Grab a copy. If you loved this video, show some love and give it a thumbs up. Share this video with all those people who are still looking for their Disney prince or princess. And I'm doing my bit to grow a conscious community. So subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to get all the updates. Let's spread the light, folks.